What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Big Vern, coming to you live from the App Stupid Studios. Please act like you got some sense. Smash the like and subscribe button. It goes a long way, helps the channel, and we appreciate it. Also, share the content. Happy Election Day to you. Just to get away from all the political garb, I'm glad I can get a little piece of your morning before you decide to do whatever you're going to do this afternoon. But we've got a great show for you. So the Green Bay Packers did ego get in the way of Green Bay going um, going up against the Detroit Lions. Find out what we think. Then Drake Mayonnaise strikes again. Yep. Different city. Same shit. <laughs> Chicago. Is it time to get rid of Shane Waldron? Uh, I think so. I think so. Also, the Denver Broncos, it's time to move on from Bo Nix. I mean, we, we have the numbers. We'll give you those. These stories and many more when we come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Burn. Drop the spot. I'm loving it. Order online. Download the app or visit the good folks at your local McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. There are deals if you're on the app right now. There's 50% off of a 10-piece chicken nugget. You can get that deal right now, valid one time a day. Also, if you're looking for something like a burger of sorts, there's 40% off a cheeseburger or a double cheeseburger. Now, this is included with tax, and that is valid for one a day. So many more items to choose from. All good. This is McDonald's. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. Yeah, McDonald's. Have it for your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Treat yourself today. Kids are out of school. It is a nice, breezy, breezy, chilly day. Chilly morning here in the Midwest. It's supposed to get up to 81. This is kind of like our Indian summer, but it, it may not happen. Who knows? Who knows? So, not going to go ahead and delay this. Let's just jump right in this. Did the ego of Jordan Love get in the way of the Green Bay Packers when they played, when they faced the detroit lions yesterday and i want to say yes now last week he had a groin injury and he didn't play the second half he heard the rumblings just like everyone else about malik willis and he had two limited practices and ultimately matt lafleur's had to sign off on it and how'd that go right yeah 24 to 14 and while that score wasn't the real score of that game through three quarters of football, they only managed six points. You all know I'm fair and I call balls and strikes right down the middle. But when you cost your team a victory, we got to talk on it. So let's talk on it. Now, don't give me that old bullshit. Oh, it was the rain and the weather was bad and... We know he can do it. Shut all that soft shit up. <laughs> anytime you see AB, anytime you see AB in these artworks, shut all that soft shit up. Y'all know better than that. Come on, man. Detroit played in the same weather. Detroit played in the same weather. And how the hell do you have 273 yards and no touchdowns and one interception? His pitiful ass pulled the ball down and called his own number three times and gained no yardage whatsoever. Again, when you hurt, just stay hurt. This whole, ah, oh, macho, I got a play. Bro, you got a groin injury. That affects a lot. And how they let this man continue is just, I don't know, it's beyond me. They were put behind the eight ball 11 times and that third down conversion, they were only successful three times. Really, three times. The cheesehead chumps, you just got out from up under the stench of Aaron Rodgers. Don't let this guy pick up where he left off. And that's real. Because these guys will find a way to bully management like they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Jordan Love had one good season. Before last year, he only took three snaps. So I get it. You don't know what you have. But for him to have this contract negotiation before the season started, I said he was feeling himself. 
I said he was feeling himself. Now he's well within his rights to sit here and argue with me, but I'm just like, okay, cool. You snuck up on a lot of people. This year, you're going to have to go ahead and prove your steal. And the Packers, they look more than mediocre. They looked horrible. Let's just face facts. And him getting the start, knowing he was hurt, why would you even chance it? As a head coach, you just got to look him in the eyes and say, sit your ass down. I have to do what's right by the football team. I don't have to do what's right by your ego. And that's what happened here. It was clearly his ego. Give me a rap album we're promoting this month. It's your boy, Big Vern. Bum, bum, dun, 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 it's your boy, Big Vern, coming to you with another rap album. Freddie Gibbs, You Only Die Once. In stores now. Get it where you legally consume music. Whether it be Apple Music, Google Play, or Spotify. My personal favorite on the track so far is Cosmo Freestyle, Wolverine. Wolverine, crazy, yo. Rabbit Island, It's Your Anniversary. That song crazy, too. Yeah, yeah, walk it off and on the set. Freddie Gibb, You Only Die Once. In stores now. Yeah, shout out to Freddie Gibb doing his thing in stores. Make sure you go get it. It's a good album. So when we get back into this game, Green Bay had 10 penalties for 67 yards at home. At home. Josh Jacobs, he's a decent running back. He's got 667 yards on a year and three TDs. He had 95 yards in the Detroit game and two grabs for 13 yards. But receiving, but that was it. Is that the highlight we going with? Really, why Why are we doing any of this? Now, Jordan Love's ass was out there throwing pick sixes, and he can barely walk. Now, look at y'all goofy ass. All because you catered to this guy's ego. And it just amazes me how people were, like, second-guessing Mike Tomlin. Like, oh, you're winning with Justin Fields. Why will you go ahead and go with Russell West, uh, Russell Wilson? Then Russell Wilson actually wins, and people, oh, we got it wrong. Nobody questioned Matt LaFleur. It's like, hey, look, that guy's got a groin injury. I got a, I got a backup who's a perfectly serviceable backup. We're playing in the rain. We're playing a division rival. How about we let this guy get in while this guy heals? But you saw all you needed to see with two limited practices all week. Right. Smack yourself smack yourself in the second quarter they feasted on green bay i'm on saint raw i'm on raw saint brown he lit them up and then joe bates he kicked the guts out of the green bay packers mouth and kirby joseph he got that pick six combo and bam the game was 17 to 3 at the half and y'all lame ass sitting there in the rain with them silly hats on y'all head. And y'all wondering, why are we scoring points? Y'all ain't scoring points because y'all coach ain't got a spine. He should have stood up to him and said, look, dude, you need to sit your ass down. I can go, coach. I can go. Take your ass home if you can't listen. But I got goofies that'll come in here. Oh, well, he was. I remember when I said that. I was like, well, Jordan Love left second quarter last week. And then here it is. Malik took him downfield. And then they scored. And I was like, you could have a controversy if he stays out. Yeah, they know it. That's why the agent class was like, he could go. He could go. He's listed as probable. Come on, man. That division, as tight as it is, with the Vikings still being a, a, a winning team, and then you have Green Bay, but the most dominant team in the division is the Detroit Lions. You at least want to keep some sort of pace with the Vikings. I know it makes too much sense. I know it makes too much sense. Then you think they'd sit Jordan Love's ass down at halftime, but nope. That asshole was back out there for a second helping of mediocrity. Detroit was having none of that, and they pimp smacked the, the Packers into the seat of disappointment. That's how this thing ended. Jameer Gibbs, he ran the ball down their throat, 15 yard touchdowns. That made this game 24 to 3. That's why I said the final score wasn't the real score of this game. The janky ass Packers only scored another three point field goal. And God bless Brandon McManus because he kept playing 
when the rest of them gave up. So uh, as we are quick to anoint quarterbacks, when you do something dumb and boneheaded, I got to go ahead and jump all over you like a dirty dish rag. Get this dude the hell out of here. Sit down when you hurt. You're hurting the team. It's not anything heroic. You're not going to be lifted up. Nobody's going to sing your praises. Just sit your ass down. The good folks of Lambeau, let me know. Do I have it wrong? Is it worth going over? Does he need to sit down? This is Big Burn. We'll be back. <laughs>